Hi, I'm Matt Falk and this is MCC Makes, where I team up with a member from MCC Canada to recreate dishes from around the world. And we're joined with Laura Kelmar, the Director of Marketing and Communications at MCC Canada. Thanks yes. for being here, Laura. Thanks. Are you excited? Are you ready? Are you My brother-in-law is a chef, so I feel like there's a lot of oh. pressure here that I've got to okay. know. Well, let's make them proud. There's a, there's a challenge video from Bolivia that we should check out. Great. Let's take a look now. Let's do it. Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Watson and I am serving with MCC in La Paz, Bolivia. So Some we are steam. in a cold season right now and so soup has become like an essential part of what I eat on a regular basis. And one of my favorite soups is called Sopa de Mani, which is like this creamy peanutty soup. She's using different um, words, and it has usually like french fries on top, which is mm. amazing. I challenge you to cook alongside me, see what happens. Bye. Okay. Thanks, Rachel. Okay, so are we gonna do all of that? Are we making the soup and the french fries to go on top? We're just doing the soup and we're just gonna have to imagine. Rachel can get over it, you know what I mean? Right What's on. the first step? Okay, first step is put the ground peanuts, the broth, the onions, onions. that we have here, yes. potatoes that are chopped evenly, and carrots in a large pot. We combine this, and then we're gonna put it in the pot, and we're gonna cook it and simmer it for 30 minutes. You tell me what to do, and then I'll, I'll put them in. So peanuts. Okay, let's do our peanuts first. Do we do all of these peanuts? This looks like 18 cups to me. <laughs> no. Let's see who's closer. You say two, I say 18. 18. Go ahead, Matt. One, sure. two, Three, four. Are you staying on track? That's that is one, one cup. cup. Yeah, good. You're right. That's two cups. <laughs> and then go for the chicken broth. Uh, let's do our onions, potatoes, and carrots. Can you, are you gonna give me some notes, Laura? Yeah, you're doing great. Oh, that's it. That's yeah. a good note. These are really good. That's why you're the director of marketing and communication. Potatoes and peas, everything? No, no, just no. the potatoes. Don't do the peas quite yet, I know. Don't do the peas yet. Okay, this is a big splash. You ready? Yeah. Look how neatly and finely diced those are. Those are this one was on the floor, should perfect. we put it back in? Uh, no, let's not use that no. one. No, let's def I'll put this on to a fairly high heat, let it come to a boil, and then we'll put it on to simmer. Simmer for 30 minutes, it'll make sure that the peanuts and all the flavors meld together, that the vegetables cook, and we've got a great base for our soup. Then we're gonna add our final ingredients after that's done. Let me tell you though yes. about this soup recipe. As a oh. matter of fact, it comes from one of our local staff in okay. Bolivia yes. who wrote the recipe and added it to a collection. That so this wasn't together. just like off the internet, no. kind of close enough. No, this is a real uh, homemade. This is a real homemade, authentic Bolivian recipe soup. that was shared. Talk to me about the potatoes and why the potatoes are significant. Right. So the potatoes that we used were basically russet potatoes, but they get incredible varieties of potatoes in Bolivia, like yeah. all colors. There's very, very high areas. Because it's like a harsh growing climate, mm -hmm. there's only certain things that grow there well, potatoes being one of them. Right, climate change was kind of yep. wreaking havoc on their farming. Yeah, exactly. And so a changing climate, changing temperatures, changing weather patterns, for farmers in Bolivia meant that um, instead of being able to rely on rain that would come regularly yeah. and fall softly, you're gonna get drier periods. And then when the yeah. rain does come, it's gonna fall really heavy and it's gonna yeah. flood. There's ways for them to bring back some of these older varieties being reintroduced. Yeah. Because those are hardier. Right. So we need okay. a hardy crop. We need potatoes. Yes. That's why they're featured in our recipe, but okay. we also need to go back and start cultivating some of these older varieties so that they're even hardier. I love that. I love going into the community and seeing specifically what they need and helping, yeah, bring it back. I think yeah. that's so, it's so beautiful and yeah. so cool. So it's, soup's been cooking for a while. We're gonna do the second bit. We're gonna put in the peas. We didn't want to put them in earlier because we don't want them to be mush. We'll let it go and keep bubbling away for about okay. another 15 minutes. Do we want to do the parsley? Let's do the parsley. Yeah. I think they can just do a time lapse and really make this look. There you go. You can do look it that, that way too. We have some, I don't know how much pepper this is, but approximately one of these peppers. And you don't stir that in, right? You just leave that simmering on the top like that? <laughs> no. Or like a, like a barista does at like a coffee shop, you swirl it. This looks wonderful. It does, look at this. It's like yeah, quite vibrant. Yes. We go with the colors. 
Now, I will say, you know, I don't know if we met the challenge that Rachel gave us because we didn't make the, the fries for the top. I have a surprise. You know how in cooking shows, yeah. it's just they reach down and it's done? What? Check this out. So I was inspired by all the potato talk and french fry. I thought, yeah. I'm gonna make some homemade french fries for myself, uh, just for you. So I made, these are home, hang on, these are homemade french fries. Oh, hang wow. On, hang on, french fries. Wow. And I also homemade these sauces. Wow. Yes. All we gotta do is put these on okay. our soup now. Yes, and then I would put the garnish on top of okay. the french fries so that, you know, we I eat with this. our eyes. This looks and smells delicious. Really it really does. Mm. So let's put the fries on. Okay. So how do we, do we just literally just like a garnish? I think it is, because it's got that little crunch factor, look at extra that. potato flavor. Wow. Chop. Do yours a little bit nicer. Oh, look, at, look that. at that. Okay. This is great. Do you, should we try it? Yeah, let's. Oh, this looks it. so cool. Ooh. Fries this looks really soup. good. Oh, come on. That's really good. Mm. I don't think I can ever have soup without fries on them. It adds a little extra salt and crunch, right? So mm -hmm. you get this textural variety. I think I can taste the peanuts coming through a little more. The peanuts add a really nice crunch to it as well. This was absolutely lovely. I think, I think we did a good job. I think we executed this recipe uh, Almost perfectly. Yes. Which is surprising because you had a lot of dead weight <laughs> tied around your ankle while you were making this soup. It was so. super fun. It was fun. I liked cooking with you a lot. Thank you, Laura. Right on. A big thanks to Laura Kelmar. Thank you so much. Thank you to Rachel for that wonderful recipe in Bolivia. And thank you to you for all of your ongoing support. I hope you enjoyed MCC Makes. My name is Matt Falk. Goodbye. This is great. Let's just eat it. Mm. Let's just enjoy it. So. This could be really good in the furnace. Mm.